youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you all guys for subscribing to my channel thank you for your love for your support if you are new to the channel you're highly and very welcome if you have not subscribed please i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to finish your gathers your flays with crinoline also known as horse hair so you can see it on the the picture that i showed you earlier on on my thumbnail it is a very simple process this actually gives structure to dresses and blouse so you can see the one that i'm going to be making use of today so this one is about three inches that's the width is about three inches and then you have different ones so you can see this one is a little bit smaller and then i have this other one this one is softer than this so depends on how thick it is that is what will give you the structure that you would want to achieve okay so now let's just get started you can follow me on all of my social media platforms facebook pinterest instagram all at stylish night and then if you want to register for my online classes you can just see my number scrolling through the screen send me a message on whatsapp okay so like i said it is a very simple simple process so what we are going to do is make sure you take your two pieces that's your lining piece and your fabric piece place them on the right side facing each other so which i have done with this and then i'm just going to take my crinoline like this i'm going to place it on top like this so I'll place it on my lining piece so place it on your lining piece don't place it on your actual fabric piece and then i'm going to start stitching now Please don't pull it, just, just give it a, a gentle stitch as you go along. Just to go, and once I get to the end, I will come back and show you how to turn it out. Okay, so I finished. I finished stitching on the lining piece. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to flip my fabric open like this, and then I'm going to give it a top stitch on the lining piece. Please note. So that is why you actually stitch it on the lining piece, so you will be able to top stitch. The lining area of your, your of your of your dress of your garments uh -huh. okay so now I'm just going to give it a very clean making sure that my crinoline is laying on this side it's laying straight and then I'm top stitching so I'm just trying to double check Okay guys, so I finished stitching on my lining piece, like I said. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open it and then give it a top stitch on my lining piece. So that is why you need to sew it on the lining side. So now I'm going to top stitch the crinoline down. You understand? On this side. I'm going to do that with a very clean, clean stitch. I don't want it to be rough, so it looks to be not because of the crinoline, it's going to be raising up as in when you it's, it's going to show so you don't need rough edges down there. So I'm just going to continue like that. I'll continue to stitch it down. When I'm done, I'll bring it back and show you how it will look like okay okay guys so you can see so i finished ironing it so you need to secure it down so when doing this that is the most you need to secure it down 
And then as you're securing it, you make sure that you use your hands to like fix it. I'm just trying because I'm trying to create gardens. So I'm trying to lose the tension of my machine. But if it was a flame, you don't need to lose your tension. You're just going to, to take it like this. And then as you stitch along, you make sure that you use your hands to, to hold it all out. So as I'm stitching, I'm just going to try as much as I can to, to just like like pull it out, make sure that it is straight in the pan. So I'll just go ahead, I'll just keep doing that until I'll get to the end of mine and then I'll come back and show you the effect. So mine, since it is a gather, so after stitching this stitch that I'm doing, I'm going to draw it together and then I'll show you the effect of how it looks like. Okay guys, so at the end of the day, so you can see how so by the time I ruffle it up, you can see how the down part is looking so bulky and beautiful. So you see the inside. You can see how the inside is looking. See, after doing the top stitch down. Oh, thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, please hit on the like button. And if you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I'll see you in my next video.